A very warm welcome to my dear students. Once again, I welcome you all in today's maths class. So today we are going to start a new topic that is three digit addition without carryover. So as we have learned that addition means to join or combine two or more things together and also this is the symbol that is used to denote addition and is known as plus symbol. If you remember, we also learn about place value and place value tells us the value of each digit in a given number. And they, they are ones, tens and hundreds. So if we have a three digit number, there are three place values starting from ones, tens and hundreds. Now here are the steps to be followed while doing three digit addition. So the first step is count the total number of digits in the given numbers. Second step is arrange the numbers in the boxes according to their place value. Third step is remember when you are arranging the numbers start from the ones place. And the fourth and uh, last step is once you have arranged the numbers start adding the numbers from the ones place. So let us take this example number one. Add 232 and 121. So what is the first step? First step is to arrange the numbers according to their place value. So we have ones, tens and hundreds. Now we are going to take up the numbers one by one and write the numbers in the boxes. So first let us take 232. Starting from ones place, we will write two first, then three and then two. Now let us take the next number that is 121. Again, we will start from the ones place and we'll write one, two, and again one. So here we have arranged the numbers according to their place value in the given boxes. Now we have to add the numbers. So we'll start again from the ones place. So in the ones place, we have two and one, as you can see. So first of all, you will take out one finger and keep two in your mind and count ahead. So we'll get three. Now again, you keep three in your mind, take out two fingers and count ahead. So we'll get four and Five. Now here we have two and one. So keep two in your mind. Take out one finger and count ahead. So we'll get three. And the final answer will be 353. So this is how we'll add three digit number. It's exactly same with the like we used to add two digit number it's absolutely same only thing is that here as you can see we have one more column that is of hundreds place now let us take some more examples so now we have example number two which says add 461 and 110 so again we'll write the place value ones tens and hundreds now we'll write the number one, six, and four. Let's take the next number and we'll write the numbers in the boxes. Zero, one, and again one. Now we have to add these numbers starting from the ones place. So let us look at ones place. We have one and zero. So keep one in your mind. And what does zero mean? Zero means nothing. 
So we will get one again because in one we haven't added anything. So the answer will be one. Now let's go to the tens place. Here you will keep six in your mind. Take out one finger and count ahead. So we will get seven. Now we will come to the hundreds column. So here we have four and one. So keep four in your mind. Take out one finger and count ahead. So we'll get five. And the final answer will be 571. Here is an example number three. Add 345 and 241. Write the place value starting from ones, tens and hundreds. Then we'll write the numbers 5, 4 and 3. That is 345. And then we'll write the next number 1, 4 and 2. That is 241. And then we are going to add the numbers starting from the ones place. So we have 5 and 1 in the ones place. Keep 5 in your mind. Take out one finger. So you will get 6. Now here in the tens place, you will keep 4 in your mind. And here again we have 4. So take out 4 finger and count ahead. So we will get 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now let's come to the hundreds place. So here we have 3 and 2. So keep three in your mind, take out two fingers and count forward. So we'll get four and five. So the final answer is 586. Now let's take the last example that is add 572 and 123. Write the place value ones, tens and hundreds. Then write the number two, 7 and 5. That is 572. Write the next number. That is 3, 2 and 1. 123. Now let's add these numbers starting from 1's place. So here we have 2 and 3. So keep 2 in your mind. Take out 3 fingers and count forward. So we'll get 3, 4, and 5. Let's go to the tens column now. Take out two fingers and keep seven in your mind and count forward. So we'll get 8 and 9. Now let's go to the hundreds column. Here we have 5 and 1. So take out one finger and keep 5 in your mind. Count forward. So you will get six. And the final answer is 695. So always remember, first you will write the place value. Then you will write the numbers in the boxes. And then starting from the ones place, you will add the given numbers to write the final answer. Thank you so much, students. I hope this topic was clear to you. Kindly complete the given worksheet in your notebook. We'll meet next time with a new video and a new topic.